Hi, I'm Randall Heyman, a university academic. Welcome to my Corona Help videos that I make, hopefully quickly, to help uh, educators and students around the world with mathematical problems and difficulties understanding mathematical concepts. If you'd like me to make a video for you or your students at either primary, secondary or university level, then comment below any of my videos or drop me an email at coronahelpmathematics at gmail.com. So I've got another question here about principal ideals and generators. So I thought we'd have a look at that. Um, here's the question. In the ring of integers, find a positive integer. That should actually say a positive integer A, such that this is true. Okay, so how do we make sense of this? I've put up the top there the definition principle ideals because that might help. You need to look back. Um, okay, let's go to the problem now. Uh, let's leave it like that. Go to blue. So let's have a think about how we're going to handle this. Well, I suppose the first thing is you better understand what this means and this means. So what's six with these, this funny symbol? If we go back to the definition. It's basically the set of R times six such that r such that r is an integer so this is all the numbers that are divisible by 6 or if you like when we take all these integers here we just we just multiply them by 6 and we look at the result so this is the set -12 negative -6 negative 6 0 6 12 etc and similarly 8 the ideal generated by the number 8 is equal to dot 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 negative uh, 16 negative 8 0 8 16 dot 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 okay so that's good now the next thing you'll have to understand is what does this plus mean here well it's really the set um, j such that j equals a plus b where a is an element of the ideal generated by 6 and b is an element of the, gen of the ideal generated by a. So what this is saying is that if we want to construct the this sum of these two uh, ideals we have to take an element from this set and an element from this set and add them up and it's all combinations so it's all combinations of something from here plus something from here so if I'm just playing around with this I can see for example that we could have 12 plus 0 so 12 well that's in there what about uh, 8 minus 6 well, that's 2. So 2's in there. Uh, 16 minus 12 is 4. What about up here somewhere we would have uh, 24? We'd have 32 up here somewhere in this one. And here we've got 6. So we can add the 2 together and we'd have 38. We'd also have 32 minus 6. So that's 26. What's the common characteristic here? They're all even numbers. Could we have an odd number? Could we have an odd number? No. Um, do we have to prove that? No. If you want to prove it, then you would need to use something like Bazoo's identity and the Euclidean algorithm, or you could argue it. You could probably just argue it through some sort of logical argument you could make that uh, you can't have an odd an odd element and you could also argue that you can get every even element okay so what does this mean this is actually the set um, r times 2 where r is an integer set. 
Now the question actually asked us to find, let's just go back, the question actually asked us to find here, find a positive integer a such that this is equal to the right hand side. So if we go down here, when we look at this, we say, oh, well, this is actually very similar to this. The only difference is one's got a two and one's got a six. So this is actually equal to two. And the actual question asked us, what's the value of A? So answer, A equals two. Whoop. That's not a very nice two, is it? Let's do a better two. Might as well finish strongly. Good. Okay, any questions on this or any aspect of mathematics, please uh, comment me below any of my videos or drop me an email at coronahelpmathematics at gmail.com.